November 30th, 2005 is a sunny and brisk day in Denver, Colorado. Downtown, it's business as usual, but this calm fall day is about to take an unexpected turn. At 10.30 a.m., passers-by hear a loud noise above. What they see next stops them in their tracks. A window washing platform bounces violently in the wind tunnel formed by the tall buildings. A gust of wind rips the support line that secures the platform to the roof and sends it tumbling out of control. Within minutes, the Denver Fire Department rescue crews are on the scene. As we turned that corner and saw this huge platform flailing around in the middle of a high-rise building outside, because of the wind, all of that, you just, your mouth just open, you're, you look at it for a second, and you're like, how are we going to deal with this? The firefighters have very limited options for rescue. They were higher than any of our ladders would have reached. Also the wind, and it was pushing this obviously huge platform that weighed hundreds of pounds, like a piece of paper, up against the building. The two window washers have no other choice but to literally hold on for their lives. How were the two people that were in there gonna hold on? But being whipped around for what seemed like five, 10 minutes, we didn't know how much strength they had, if they could have been knocked out, if they could have been bumped. The rescuers know they may be running out of time. Our biggest fear was that by the time we got up to the before we were supposed to be, those guys weren't going to be on the platform anymore. With the clock ticking, the fireman's only option is to enter the building and try to secure the platform at the window it's going to strike next. They only hope that they can predict the exact location of the impact and be ready in time. And we had a guess where it would be by the time we got up to the actual floor. We finally went to the 12th floor and that's where we met up with it, and that was just by sheer luck. The platform crashes into the window on the 12th floor. Luckily, the firemen are there and ready for it. The only reason why I was able to even grab it is because the framing on those high-rise buildings, it hit perfectly where it fit in the, in the still framing of the building. The terrified workers see their only opportunity for rescue and rush to safety. They were just like ghosts. They were white. And we were trying to tell them not to come through there, because there were still these huge pieces of glass that weren't broken out. But well, I, I probably would have done the same thing. I just wanted off. Hector Estrada and Oscar Gonzalez are shaken up, but not injured. 